Hey everybody, Ben here with Peer Presence Creative, and today I'm excited to share with you guys how to make an iframe a maintain its aspect ratio and be responsive. Now if you've worked with iframes before, you'll know that most of the times when you work with them, you have a fluid width, but the height seems pretty static. Or you may even have both width and height be static. So it's kind of boring and it's kind of frustrating when you're trying to translate your website into a mobile design. So today I'm going to show you how we can take a standard iframe, add a little bit of CSS, and make it responsive while it will still maintain its aspect ratio, which is in this case 16 by 9. So let's go ahead, let's jump over to the HTML and uh, let's start coding this thing. So first things first, I went ahead and I went to YouTube and I grabbed an iframe from one of the videos I've already posted. And to do this, I went to the share and then I went to one of the tabs that it now offers, which it says embed. And I just highlighted this iframe code and I hit control C or command C on a Mac and I went over to my code. So to start this iframe, let's first open up a containing div. So we're going to place our iframe inside of a container, which is going to be a div. And we'll close that div off as well. We'll then go ahead and give the div a class name. And let's just call it responsive. And then inside, we can go ahead and paste our iframe. Now this iframe has a default width and height but we don't need to worry about that because the CSS we're going to write is going to override the default width and height. So you can leave it there or you can remove it. That's completely up to you. So now that we have everything in place, we have our div container and then we have our iframe ready to go. Let's go ahead and style the container. So let's target our class of responsive and to target a class in CSS, you use a period and then we'll just type the class name. And we'll open and close curly brackets and then inside we'll start adding some rules. Now with this responsive video we need to give it a width of 100%. We want our div to fill up 100% of the main contents container uh, width wise and then we're going to give it a height of 0. Now with the height of zero, don't worry, you will st still have a height to the video as you saw earlier, but we're going to use the padding rule to actually add the height to that video. So with padding, we're going to do padding bottom, and we're going to give it a percentage of 56.25%. Go ahead and close that rule. And then last but not least, we're going to need to give this a position rule of absolute position and we're going to need to give it a relative position. And that's all we need to do for the container and now we need to target the iframe inside. So let's go ahead, we'll target the responsive class again, so responsive. And then since it's a child element of the responsive div, the iframe is inside of this div, we'll go ahead and we can just type iframe. We'll open and close our curly brackets. There we go, move my mouse so you can see. <clears throat> and then inside, all we need to do is give this guy a position of absolute, which is why we have the containing element. It has a position of relative, so not that way the absolute positioned iframe inside won't float outside. It will stay inside of the responsive container because if we didn't have this relative position on the responsive container, the iframe would then bleed into whatever has the next, or whatever parent element has a relative position, which in, by default is the body tag. So that's kind of far off, and uh, we don't want it overlapping any of our additional content. So we have it with a position of absolute, and let's go ahead and give it a width of 100% and a height of 100%. Now we can go ahead and save it and let's preview this in the browser. Double click it. There you'll see we have our YouTube video and it looks the proper aspect ratio. 
I'll go ahead and start shrinking the page down and you'll see it is maintaining its 16 by 9 aspect ratio and it's looking like we did it. We were successful with our code. Now let me go ahead and explain to you real quick how this trick works. Let me go to, I'm going to right click and I'm going to inspect the element. And inside we have our main document body, we have our main content, and then we have our responsive class. Now this is where most of the magic happens. This responsive class, even though it has a height of zero, we're using the padding at the bottom to flush out the actual height of the video. Now what's cool about this is the padding, to, the padding being applied to the bottom this percentage is actually being calculated via the width of the parent container. So it's actually getting its height from the width of the parent container. So the parent container right here is the main content and the main content has a maximum width of 800 pixels. So the padding, the bottom padding to the responsive um, div is actually 56.25% of the 800 pixel width. So that's how it's maintaining its aspect ratio because as we go and we shrink down the video, you'll see now it's only 461 pixels and the bottom padding is now 359.5 pixels. So that's how it's working and you can change the aspect ratio accordingly. So if you were to want a cube, you could do a bottom padding and we could add just a hundred percent or let's say you wanted it to be four by three you would just use um, 75 percent it would just work just like that so it's pretty easy and hopefully you guys can use this you can use this inside of adobe muse with graphic styles and it's an awesome fix and it's really good for working on mobile but that's all I have for you guys today. If you like this video, feel free to share it. And of course, for more lessons like this, subscribe. And if you want to continue seeing these lessons, go ahead and we would love for you guys to help us out on Patreon. And the link will be in the description. But until next time, you guys, be sure and have a good one.